Hello and welcome to another quick edit video. This time I will be editing a panoramic image of a mountain lake somewhere in the Dolomites in Italy. And before I can merge the panoramic image, um, first I'd like to check some settings. Therefore I'm enabling the remove chromatic aberration setting and I also check the enable profile correction setting. Also I want to change the camera calibration profile to neutral. So I have a more flat image and I can do more in the post-processing process. Now I need to apply those settings to all my other shots of the panoramic image sequence. Therefore I'm going to select them all and just press on sync. And then I just can right click on them and merge the panorama. Now I can let Lightroom automatically fix the white blank spaces here, you can see in the corners, with the boundary warp function. Sometimes the horizon of the image gets messed up through this function, but I think for this case it works probably just fine. So this already looks kind of cool, but I still want to crop out uh, some parts of the image. Also I think it's not even. I don't think I want to change the white balance for now. I'm just starting with the highlights, which I will uh, reduce a bit. And I'm also increasing the shadows. I also want to increase the whites. And maybe I'm adding a bit of clarity. Now first I want to work on the foreground, therefore I'm using a gradiated filter and just drag it over my foreground. And here I just want more contrast, um, therefore I can use the clarity slider. And I'm also increasing the highlight slider and the white slider. Then I think I'm using a radial filter to bring out a reflection of the lake a bit more. And here I'm just using a lot of clarity. And I'm also bringing up the whites a bit. Then I want to work on the sky part of the image, therefore I'm using another gradiated filter which I drag over the sky. Again I'm adding a bit of clarity and also I'm going to add a bit of whites. Now to bring out the clouds in the sky I'm going to reduce the luminance of the blue color tones. And I'm going to increase the saturation of uh, yellow and green color tones a bit and I'm reducing the blue color saturation. I don't want to touch the split toning section, therefore I'm going straight to the sharpening. And that was it for Lightroom. I'm switching over to Photoshop and finish the post-processing. So first I want to get rid of the uh, people on the left side of my image. This could be a little bit tricky, but I tried it. First I want to try it with the healing brush tool, maybe this will work. Ah, not so bad. That should be good enough for now. So now that this is done, I am going to use the Nick collection to finish the editing. First I want to add some more saturation, therefore I'm using the polarization filter. And now I can try to add some more contrast. Again I'm using the Nick collection plugin. Actually I want to change the color of the trees to give my image a kind of autumn look. Therefore I'm using the Indian Summer plugin filter. And here I'm just using a template. Now I only really want the trees to be affected by it, so I'm masking out the rest of the image. And this way you can change the color of the leaves of some trees. Alright, I think I am finished uh, 
with this uh, particular shot so I hope this tutorial was helpful for some of you and if you would like to see more content like this then feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.